Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. This is me Usman Chaudhary and in this video I am going to tell you the basics of HVAC ducting by using SolidWorks routing feature. So keep watching this video till end. We have to start from new assembly. So click on new and then double click on the assembly file here. First of all uh, insert the home file into the assembly then right click on this part and then select float. Now we have to make some mates uh, for this file. So front plane is going to be attached with this. So make coincident mate. Top plane uh, select this face and make coincident mate. Again uh, right plane and then select this face and make their coincident relation. So uh, this file is now fully defined and we cannot move it. Uh, next step is that we have to start HVAC ducting. So for that uh, we have to start um, enable or return on the add-in for SOLIDWORKS routing. For that click on this arrow next to setting button and select add-ins. Here if you can see SOLIDWORKS routing check this box and press OK button. So as soon as we have turned on the uh, SOLIDWORKS routing we have automatically entered into the uh, solid and uh, solid box design library and in the design library um, search for routing and in the routing click on HVAC here on this assembly I am going to make the rectangular uh, ducting so if you want to add round ducting double click on this um, folder round ducting and uh, here you will find uh, different type of uh, parts for um, round ducting. So let's start. Uh, first of all, define the location from where you are going to start making ducts. Let's say I'm going to attach uh, air cooler on uh, on this side. So for that, we have to place a corner. So here is the HVAC corner. Click and drag this corner like this. These are the sizes of the corner. Select the desired type and press OK button. The system will ask you to save the assembly before continuing further. So press OK button or yes to save the assembly. Then define the location and name the assembly and press save button. Then press OK button here on left side. So uh, this we are entered into the 3D sketch. Before continuing further, uh, we have to properly align this corner. So for that, uh, click on this button save and exit from sketch mode. Also press this button to save and exit from SM, um, part editing mode. Now uh, if you can see here on the left side HVAC ducting, right click on it and make it float. Now press and hold right click. Uh, button of your mouse and drag the mouse like this to rearrange or reposition the duct. Now we have to define the uh, exact location of this duct with respect to this uh, this part or this building. Let's say I'm going to um, align this face with this face. So for that we have to make a coincident weight. Press and hold control key from your keyboard and then select both these faces. Release the control key and uh, then select coincident mate. Again select this face and this face. Make coincident mate. Now uh, click and drag this corner like this. Then define the distance between this face and this face. So here is the distance. Define the distance. Um, let's say I'm going to add 1000 or 1 meter. Press OK button. And as you can see the assembly is fully defined here. Right click on this duct and then select edit root. Here if you can see we can click and drag this point like this to increase the length of 
the pipe or duct. We can also define the length by using smart dimensions. So select smart dimension and then select this line 95 foot. Press OK button. Now uh, I'm going to add a bend here on this direction. So for that click on design library and here is the bend 90 degree. Click and drag this band up to this point. Here are the sizes of this band. If you want to add another size, check this box, list all configurations and you will find a number of sizes here. So select your desired size and press OK button. So as you can see here on the left side, this message says that click on different points to add more bands but we do not want to add more bands so cancel this box and we have to change the direction of this band so click on this point and drag the point like this now uh, click on this line and make it along z axis now define the length of this pipe so click on this line let's say 2020 feet and we have to add a T here so for that click again on design library and from here HVAC vertical T click and drag this T up to this point select your desired size and press OK button close this dialog We can also um, increase the length of uh, this pipe by dragging this line like this. Click and drag this line like this. We have to define the length uh, 50 feet. Also, the length of this. 25 feet press ok button so now um, we need one band here on this direction and one band here on this direction so go to design library again and uh, HPSC 90 degree band click and drag this band here press ok button one band here now close this dialog now here if you can see we have to change the direction to this, this side. So click on this line and uh, then um, here if you can see Z direction. So click on this option along Z and press OK button. Also select this line and make it along Y direction. So select along Y. Click and drag this line like this. Click and drag this line. So now um, we need a reducer here. So again click on design library and here is the reducer HVAC reducer. Click and drag this reducer uh, up to this point like this. So select your desired size and press OK button. And then Uh, close this dialog first and then increase the length of this line. Now uh, I need a bend on this direction on the bottom side. So again click on design library and then 90 degree bend. Click and drag this bend like this and press OK button. Close this dialog. Change the direction by uh, selecting this line and making it along X axis like this. So uh, let's say at this point we are going to end our duct. So click on design library and here is the HPAC duct end. Click and drag this end up to this point 
like this and then select desired size and press ok button close this dialog so now we have to add another T on this point again click on design library and then um, HVAC vertical T select and drag it up to this point like this and press ok button close this dialog and click and drag this point like this to increase the length of the uh, length of the duct like this now uh, we have to add the duct end on this point click on design library and then HVAC duct end click and drag this point uh, this duct end on this point select the desired size and press ok button now another band on this uh, point close this message first and then go to design library 90 degree band place it like this select desired size and press ok button close this dialog click and drag this line like this now we have to add a band uh, here on this point click and drag this band like this select your desired size and press ok button close this dialog and then select this line and make it along x axis and press ok button now click and drag this line like this so now we have to add uh, duct end click and drag this duct end like, like this and select your desired size and press ok button by the way this is the size of the cross sectional area of the duct so this um, is length this is width and this is the thickness of the sheet so select your desired size and press ok button I think we have done the basics of the HVAC ducting by using solid wax routing so now press this button to save and exit from sketch mode and then press this button to save and exit from part editing mode. So for manufacturing drawings you can also open all the parts one by one. Uh, let's say I am going to open uh, this reducer, click on the reducer and then select open part and here is the reducer um, as a part. So you can make the drawing of this reducer. So this is how we can uh, do HVAC ducting in SOLIDWORX by using SOLIDWORX routing feature. I hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video and if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have any suggestions please do comment below. Thanks for watching and sparing time.